we figured out a way that bacteria can slow down and chill out instead of having a tizzy and freaking out in response to stress. Because in, in a quiescent state, the resting state, bacteria are often more uh, tolerant to conventional antibiotics. They don't work well. So our, our goal is we really want to ask, what do they care about when they're in this resting state? What really matters to them? We're studying this really weird polymer that bacteria make called polyphosphate, which is one of the things they do in response to stress. We were tracking these um, particles, these inert particles in the cell, and we discovered, whoa, when cells can't make polyphosphate, everything moves around too much inside the cell. And then we we're like, this is really interesting. Life is all about motion, right? There's all this churning, molecules are wiggling and jostling against each other, and you know, those interactions are important for all the chemistries for an enzyme to hit its substrate and perform catalysis. And we actually discovered something that when it's not there, the cell, when it's starving, it actually starts to kind of become hyperactive and move too much. Well, one thing that's pretty cool about polyphosphate in bacteria is that the enzymes that make it, we don't have them. So they're actually a really exciting drug target. Ideally, we want to target things where we can avoid toxicity against our own enzymes. And polyphosphate is not only important for antibiotic tolerance, but it's been implicated in virulence in a lot of clinically significant human pathogens.